I did it, and he led me to their grandmother room where he pulled down my pants and, and humped on me. You know, it wasn't uh, intercourse, but he humped on me. And that day was the beginning of a long journey. Um, after that, you know, growing up, um, many years I dealt with spirit of, of perversion and dealt with fear. I dealt with, you know, it was it wasn't until a long getting ahead of myself. It wasn't a long time till I dealt with fear, but that was the beginning of even things that I've done. Uh, shame, a lot of shame, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of confusion, and. To move on, you know, after that, you know, I got older, obviously, and it really didn't plague me because it was something that I kind of, excuse me, I kind of forgot about. And, you know, I lived life and moved on and was a little kid and played sports and, you know, things of that nature. And But this 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 spirit was, was definitely hovering over me. Um, I was never interested in men or boys, but I would get so horny, you know what I mean? And, and it would pass and wouldn't really pay too much attention to it because I'm a kid. But um, time grew, got older, and the very thing that was done to me, I've done to someone. Um, to begin, you know, I was, I'm going to say about, I want to say I was about eight years old when I really, when it, when I really started acting out within that. And, um, you know, I've done things that I'm, you know, been ashamed of and just disgusted of, but I must share this um, to help someone you know to help someone that's in bondage because i was in bondage for years and i'm sharing myself i'm opening myself up being transparent so that it may help someone else um going back to i say about eight years old i've humped on a cousin you know no intercourse but you know humped on a little cousin you know humped on you know family members it wasn't intercourse but it was, you know, it was something that shouldn't have taken place. Um, 